today <coughs> okay so so let's continue from here so in approvers okay we have one more uh, action that is called approver coordinator this is very important question okay but in real time we use very less okay so what is approval coordinator is so i'm just dragging it okay i'll just drag it to see the options or to see the definition of it so i'll just drag it here okay consider like i i want to keep it here let's say okay so uh, bulk approvals i am just saying this name okay it is somewhat relevant okay and then nothing is there to select here see the only name we need to give okay maybe some options here okay these options i will explain later once i submit it then see okay the approval coordinator activity is a special kind of activity okay where i can set i will just keep here okay so in one particular set of see here we have how many phases of workflow how many phases of uh, how many phases of approvals we have here so in this workflow no don't see this one but here in our workflow how many phases of our, uh, act, uh, approvals are there how many phases two two sir two, right first level and second level okay so consider like let's say i want to get this person plus this group in single approval how i can do okay so you know you you need only one one activity okay and you want all the people in the loop you no need to trigger two approvals but you need to have one only but all these people this user plus this group should be part of it okay the special case worst case but in case if we need this kind of scenarios okay you you take approval coordinator activity okay approval coordinator activity is a container for one of more approvals user groups manual okay so if you drag it now here you have plus just say plus okay now you have all these three group user and manual okay manual we don't use anyway okay forget about it so group user i'll just check, select user then it gets you the same page where we see in approval user page okay so here i am getting so let's say manager okay and i'll select one guy here uh, i don't write code now where is that okay here so i'll i'll get opened by manager let's say like this so these are our atm values i can dot work it this is what this is one we already seen it okay so opened by manager is one of the approver so i i took him right submit okay so now add one more plus let's get a group okay so finance okay get a group and submit it so like this we can add multiple approvals okay so when this activity hits let's say i keep this activity somewhere here and then uh, the if condition checked and then it came to here and then it it came to this particular one so let's say this is located here okay when this hits when the transition happens that means here it creates an approval for all the members of this group plus this guy okay so one phase of approval but covering multiple people maybe it is as individual people or a one person one group or different groups different persons so like this we can combine them okay this is approval coordinator activity okay now if you see a little deeper now let's say here we have one here you have five people so total six approvers are there okay how you take the results like let's say this guy approved it so will we pass approved or one guy from this one first guy from this one then take approved or all from all okay. six people so these conditions are all you can cover from using these options in approval coordinator say all child activities should be approved okay any child activity should be approved first approval or reject from any child okay these two are almost same but you can control that behavior output using these options so if i say all activities to be approved means one from there one from here or if i say this one any child means any one from one or if it is this one 
Okay, any one from first one. Because second and third are almost same, but little difference is there. Okay, so maximum we'll keep this one. So this is what the approval coordinator activity. Okay. In real time, we hardly use it, but for interview, it is a such an important question. Okay, if they ask you something about workflows, maybe this question they will ask. Okay, ma, this is clear, right? Yes, no, please confirm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So in approvals, these are the activities, ma. These are the four activities. Okay. Uh, even in real time, also we use these four. We practice these four, especially especially three only. We practice this one is especially for interview question. Even though if you can keep a link here and then create it, it creates an approval for all the people. One from here to uh, five from here, something. Everyone will be approved. Then you can test it. Okay, approve from this one. See whether it is waiting or not. Approve also from one. From this one, and then see how it is going to next one and all. Okay, but uh, I'm not running now, so we can see something else. Okay, so approval. That's it. Okay, now it comes to conditions. Okay, we see if. Okay, if is to check two values, either true or false. Okay, if you see this one, the output of the if is always either yes or no. It's a boolean, true or false kind of. Right. But let's say I have multiple conditions. In that case, how I can do? Okay, then switch will come. So see here, if you see if, I, I can show you one scenario, ma, but let's see the if. Okay, I'm just reviewing one more time. This is the standard, standard script for if. Okay, even if you use script or you, even if you use a condition, the output is always written true or written false, written yes or written no. Say the output is it will say yes, it will say no. Based on that, the values will move to the next. If it is yes, this line. If it is no, this line. Something else, it is not there. Else, if it is not there, okay. So if we have multiple things, okay. Let's see one scenario. Go to the form, okay. So let's analyze like uh, here. You have three options, okay. So if it is create, then <coughs> then create a task to one group. If it is retire, create a task to different group. If it is update, create a task to different group. Okay. So based on the value, we have multiple here. Okay. Maybe if we have two. Okay. If we have only two validations. If it is create, yes. Apart from create, remaining all no. Then we can use if condition. Okay. But if we have different like create one condition the second condition is retire okay third condition is update if create if retire if update so three conditions are there but output cannot be three ways output can be only two ways when you use if right agree let's say we have one more choice here okay then output should be four four values the answer should be four okay so when you have multiple conditions to check means if else if else if else if okay so something like write the code okay the same see the same thing if you write a code maybe the code is something like you will see see ma okay so get the code can someone tell me the code for this else if condition so you want to set this uh, okay let me write it okay where uh, type equal to g form okay get value of request to type okay if okay uh, type equal to create okay so maybe set mandatory something we are doing do job okay and if I say yeah uh, if I say else that means only two conditions either yes either no right so let's say do other job okay so in this example you have only two checks first check is create okay next check is apart from create other values if you have 100 values then 99 values will come in else agree right 
Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Everyone? Is that clear, yes, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. But if you see, okay, else, no? Like, let's say I want to keep more conditions. So, see the same thing, okay? What I am saying is, else, if. Okay, then do a job. Okay, else if. I am not writing completely. I am writing also something error. But don't see the things. Only see the content. Okay, so maybe I can correct it also. Okay, so else if retire, do others. Do retire job. Okay, so see here. Now, it is not actually simple if, it is an if with multiple conditions, okay? So, when you have multiple conditions, okay, in workflow, you can't organize with only a single if, because if will always write either yes or no, that's it. It won't write multiple, okay? So, in this case, we have something called switch. Switch is if else if with multiple types so what i need to do is okay let me let me, let's do something okay the the requirement that we see in here okay so let's do something like okay so let's say we need to create multiple now so switch switch get the switch here okay when you are using switch okay it asks you to select a variable right and which variable you want to say, our, our, our variable is group type. Okay, the variable is also, we need to get it from here, right? So group. Okay. Sorry, it's no group. Okay. Request type, uh, group type, uh, group type, right? Request to type. Okay. That window gone, huh? Okay, so now see ma, I am selecting a value, okay, it's a kind of choice value, okay, and also selecting the variable, and then once I hit submit, see how switch will get the values, okay, the switch is formed, and the choice values of the uh, field that we selected, the variable that we selected, okay, the values came here, okay, there are three values, so now you create three different actions here. Okay, if it is uh, if it is uh, update, maybe create a task to one group. Okay, if it is create, maybe create a task to different group. Okay, and if it is retire, create a task to retire. Okay, uh, we can run this one. Okay, so see, this is what I am saying. So, every time only one value would be there, not all three values will be there. So, always it will take any one of the tasks, not all tasks. Maybe in the each task we will select some different, different group, different, different short description and all. Okay, I am not doing all this because of the time, but we are creating different, different tasks to different, different groups with different, different short description and all based on the multiple conditions that are coming from this field. So, if I use switch here, maybe I can say only two outputs, but I want multiple outputs, so I need to use switch here. Is that clear, ma? Yes, no? If I, okay, let's, let's, let's run it now, okay? Let's create a request. So, I'll say uh, update request, okay? And then just to get some uh, group name, let's say this group I want to update something and then uh, group manager okay I want to update the group manager to someone so submit it okay let's drive to the workflow we need to analyze this switch okay, how how the activity will be taken right so see here 
we are here okay just always open the show workflow to monitor that request flow okay now it is checked and it came as no group manager is not the person who raised it okay then it took here and it went to manager approval okay so she is the manager so she approved it and then it takes to the next activity because approvals is completed it will take the next activities group approval okay then here see this field is also requested okay this field will change once we reach to okay uh, somewhere here so group approval is not there maybe it is not a subscription group so we running for 15 seconds okay after 15 seconds the value will be changed right so it is changed now so it's said approved okay and then it moved to the next activity the next activity is creating a task right it's created a task but which task it is created this is what important in switch condition which value it picked the va it, it picked this value then it moved to this one why it picked this value because you created a ticket by passing the value update so this value is picked and it is also validated here using switch and whatever you linked the next action is worked okay you can't use if here because the output is three not two maybe you you will get more four also you will get it five also you will get it right now this is clear right yes no please confirm yes sir yes sir everyone okay so uh, in order to show shift uh, switch condition i covered this one okay we no need to cover this part using switch you and you can write a simple script in catalog task also okay we see some scripting later in the task level but we need to cover switch condition right switch is very very important for interview also so we covered it so this part is clear ma everyone if and switch are completed right everyone are completely agreed fine yes no please take it please confirm yes sir yes sir okay yes sir very good so now in approvals conditions we have these two wait for condition it's a simple one okay maybe i can cover later so i am just not covering now notifications not covering maybe tomorrow only because time but task catalog task this is also you can cover tomorrow branch and join mm. set value so these are all will take time they are all very important okay we'll continue the class tomorrow ma. okay we'll uh, continue the class tomorrow i don't be discussing anything we'll directly start class but our goal is to complete all everything all activities from service uh, workflow okay we'll finish the workflow tomorrow that means we'll complete all the activities we'll also see some advanced uh, scripting related advanced workflow concepts and also we try to complete the order guide sorry record producer or order guide next one more type of catalog guide okay